Okay, so let's talk about how we add a server to an existing domain. So right here is my second server that's going to be in my test group domain. So I'm going to enter my password, log in. It's not part of the domain yet, so I'm logging in using a local user account. And I want to set my IP addressing information. So I'm going to configure this local server. And most servers we normally like to run with a static IP address. And you'll see right here my static IP address 172.16.1.11. Now, key thing here is your DNS server has to be the one that your domain is using. Now, in previous video, we added a domain controller. Uh, created a new forest, new domain, and it was using itself as the DNS server, and its address was 172.16.1.10. So it could use itself. This has to point back to my existing domain controller or my existing DNS server for that domain. So that's set, so we're good there. So now I'm going to go to my workgroup setting and, whoops, change, and I'm going to change to the domain test-group.local and now it's going to use DNS to try to find that test group local and if it does it comes up with this give me the um, give me the name and password of an account with permission to join the domain well at the moment the only account I have is administrator but that one does have those permissions so I'm going to do administrator ABCD1234 and this is going to be my domain administrator account is the one that I'm actually using. And hit OK, and it should log me in using that domain administrator account and come back with this. Welcome to the test group.local domain. OK, have to restart before applying changes. OK, and close. I'm going to restart now, and then I'm going to pause the video, and when it comes back up, um, we'll talk about something that we need to do when we log in for the first time. Okay, we're back up. Now, here's the thing. Windows Server remembers the last account that you logged in at, as, and the last account I logged in as was administrator from the local machine, and that's the one that it's asking me to log into again is that administrator from the local machine. I don't want to. I want to log in as a domain administrator. So I'm going to choose other user. And now it's test-group. Notice if I do administrator, it's going to revert back to administrator test server 2 because it says, oh yeah, I remember we logged in as a local administrator, so let's do that again. So what we have to do is do test-group, which is your domain name, backslash administrator. And now it says, all right, we're going to use the test group administrator, so the domain backslash username. And now I can log in using that username and password. And that'll log me in as an administrative user rather than as a local user. If you ever want to verify that you're logged in as the right one, you can actually go to your command prompt and issue the command, who am I? So let me show you that real quick. I'll just right click and we'll do PowerShell because it's going to work in PowerShell as well. It's a command prompt command, but it works as either one. Who am I? All one word. And it says I am test group, so domain name backslash administrator. And that verifies that I'm actually in the domain. Uh, had I just logged in as administrator, it would say test dash server two administrator, which would indicate that I was a local server administrator. Okay, so let me go ahead and close out of here. And this device is now a member of the domain. It's a member server at this point, uh, and, but it is now ready to function inside the domain and take advantage of domain users and domain security accounts.